Sawadika. Welcome to Annie Take on Thai. Um, today uh, we're gonna show you how to make the red curry. Um, so in Thailand they call gang dang or gang pet. Gang dang, gang is a curry, dang is a red color, which is just like we're gonna use the red uh, chili paste and um, or gang pet. Pet is mean spicy, which is the gang dang. Uh, is one of the major ingredient on a lot of cooking in Thailand so uh, like some of the stir fry they also use gang dang and you can get the curry paste at the store actually but I will show you what in your curry paste when you making it let's we'll start with the first important thing is the, the chili we use like a dry chili and they have like a three side of the chili. This is the smallest one because our restaurant like it spicy. What we do, we're gonna soak this guy in the water for a couple hours until it's soft. And uh, if you don't like it so spicy, you take the seed out so you're less spicy. If, if you like it spicy like we do, we use the blender. But in Thailand, this is our major cooking part in Thailand, it's a mata. It's a stone mortar. You can see how heavy it is. It's like a it's drop on your... <laughs> that will be hurt. <laughs> and then uh, we used it to blend uh, the uh, curry paste. And then uh, the next one is the coriander seed. And also the cumin seed. And this one is the garlic. Garlic also a major um, cooking in Thailand. And the shallot. And then uh, we have this kefir lam leaf, but we don't. We're not going to use the leaf onto the uh, curry. We usually use the skin of the uh, fruit. They have like a fruit, you know, not almost like lamb, but they have like a rougher outside, and we use just the skin of it in our curry paste. And um, we have the lemon grass here, which is most of the lemon grass. They don't have the flavor up here. All the flavor is up on the stalk. So we're gonna we use that. And this is the galango. This is, uh, if you familiar with the coconut milk soup or like tom kha gai, this is the ka. In Thailand, they call ka. And um, of course, shrimp paste. If you're vegetarian, we use the pickle bean. But if you're not, this smelly shrimp paste make your food a whole totally different. Okay, and so when you do, you're gonna blend this out first, the dry ingredient, and you're gonna blend the um, the um, the wet ingredient with it. Okay, and so now we're gonna start. This is the curry paste that uh, after you make it up, it's gonna look like this, nice and great. And so, so we're gonna turn the heat until about medium high because. Uh, you want to uh, stir fry your chili paste, make it a nice aroma. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in there, just so the curry paste doesn't stuck into my pot. Just a tablespoon of it, not so much, and uh, you're not gonna use a high heat because of uh, your chili paste can be burned. So actually it's about a tablespoon, because we like spicy, right? So we're gonna put a tablespoon of this curry paste in there. And we're gonna stir it and make it a nice aroma of the curry paste in there. Coconut milk in there. Just a little, just to dilute the, the curry paste up. Now you can smell a little bit sweet of the coconut milk mixed into the curry paste and of course we're gonna have chicken carrot and the bamboo the bamboo we use here is the bamboo tips so it's like nice and juicy it's a lot different and now when you cook the bam when you use the bamboo tip usually we slice it off to the little piece we usually boil it a couple times and uh, throw the water away a, a couple times to get uh, some of the, you have like a, some different smell to it. And so you just clean it up nicer when you wash and rinse it. And then uh, now when my curry paste is a little bit hot, I'm gonna put the chicken in there. 
make it a thin slice. You can cook into the coconut milk. Add more coconut milk in there. And let it simmer. So you get a nice flavor broth coming out from your chicken. When you put the coconut milk in there, you can um, turn the heat up higher. But if you, um, when you start cooking, if you put too much heat in there, it's gonna burn your chili paste so easy. So now I can, since it start boiling, I can add the carrot in there. The carrot will give you a little bit of the sweetness into it, to your broth. And this is the um, bamboo that I already cut and rinsed. So coming out in slice like this. So I'm gonna add the bamboo in there. One thing of the bamboo though, it's pretty interesting. It doesn't matter how many times you cook it, it's gonna get you the same texture. The texture never gonna change. So you can cook in there as long as you want. But your bamboo is gonna coming out the same. Curry is boiling hot right here. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of flavor. So Thai food always have like a balance of flavor. So you have to be a little bit sweet, a little bit um, salty. And so we're gonna add a little bit of the fish sauce in there. So about a tablespoon. That's my eyeball tablespoon. Right there. And so it depends if you like sweet, you can add a little bit sugar in there. If you don't like sweet, you don't have to. Um, however, the coconut milk itself is gonna have like a sweetness into there. But somehow, Thai food, major cooking, testing. You have to test the food every time. Doesn't matter what day you cook, you test. You have to test it. And so you judge by that. So now I can taste it. Hmm. Then you can finish. This is the eggplant. I just like to show you guys, but uh, to cook in there, it's like a Thai major cooking, but it's like take a long time to cook those things. And you can cut and put it in there. People like it, people don't like it. But uh, to finish that up, we usually put the basil into the finish. One thing on the basil, you don't want to put in there to cook it. You want to put in there the minute your food is done. You put the basil in there, you twist it up, you put the basil and you turn off the heat. That's way you get a nicer aroma to it. And so that is how my red curry is done. Nice and good color. So here's the mm -hmm. red curry that we finished, the chicken red curry. And thank you for um, watching us. And, uh, you can like us on Facebook or give us a review on Yelp or subscribe um, and or come visit us at our restaurant, Chabai Beyond Thai, Heroes Diner or even Siam Noodle Bars. Thank you.